Hi Aries, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and their true intentions for you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message for you from this person. These are going to be things that they're holding back from telling you. They might be things that you want to hear. They might be things you might not want to hear. And they might be answers to questions that you've been looking for. We will get that at the end. Um, please bear with me. I am still in the process of getting my voice back. Everything has just been high in allergens today, so I'm working on it. But um, with that being said, just please remember that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. However, the focus is for the person currently on your mind and their true intentions for you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, Aries, jump into looking at the situation between the person on your mind. Um, and then I'll jump into the tarot section and look at their true intentions for you. And then we'll close it out with the messages from them of what they're holding back from telling you. So first, let me please get the situation between Aries and the person on their mind. Please show me the situation between Aries and the person on their mind. All right, so we have addictions or addiction signs and synchronicities and liquid courage that comes out. Um, divine inter intervention is at the bottom of the deck, but I'm not going to use that one. I will just use a little bit of what it's pulling me towards, which is things feel heated. Okay. Cause it definitely is showing that, you know, serendipitous, um, catalyst and supernatural karma, but the addiction card is toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession, signs and synchronicities is a coincidence, signal hint, message from the universe, and then liquid courage, bravery, confidence, intoxicated, odd behavior. So that being the situation between the two of you, if that is your situation, then you know that this reading is for you. So let's go ahead and jump into the tarot section and look at this person's true intentions for you. So show me this person's true intentions for Aries please. Okay, so they're not really looking for love long term here. Um, they definitely come in hot and heavy. So they like to love bomb you with that knight of cups. And it's like an obsession of theirs. They have this attachment to you, really wanting you. But it does feel like, you know, with the signs and synchronicities looking at your situation, that the universe is really trying to let you know that this person, you know, is giving you some kind of red flag indicators here, right? Um, so acting odd. And, you know, there's also the fact that, like, maybe this person drinks too much or they do things that they're addicted to with drugs or alcohol. And so they will act more confident when they're accusing things like that but they're not really showing that to you. Um, so signs and synchronicities, pay, pay attention to the signs around you. You could be getting signs and synchronicities from license plate numbers. Or if you ask the universe, like, you know, show me, uh, um, I'm going to say like a metallic or um, um, holographic, not holographic, what am I trying to say? Not holographic, but um, yeah, like a metallic car, something that you, or like, I want to see a butterfly if this is what's happening. So whatever your question is to the universe and you're asking for any kind of indicator there, pay attention when those signs come in, because that is going to be your confirmation to your question. Okay. So communication. So this person is definitely, you know, it came out a little bit like this, but I put it upright. This person is, um, intending to talk to you and, you know, see where things go. However, they're only in it for the moment. The page of wands are not that grown up just yet. King of Cups comes out in a 50-50 energy. This person could have problems with drugs or alcohol because the King of Cups coming out like this can indicate somebody who has addiction problems. Um, so you have to be careful of that. It's also the fact that this person could also use love as a way to like love bombing you in a way to get what they want um, because they obsess over certain 
certain things, but then they can also change their tone after they get what they want here. So just be careful of that. Now we do have a uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. We also have your energy that comes out, Leo and Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and clarify that two of wands. A temperance card. Mm. So uh, communication and making decisions is only based off of moderation of this person, like giving in moderation. If you're looking for a relationship, then they're looking for a relationship, but they are having to practice patience when, you know, looking for the right kind of relationship, the lovers, they do want love. So it's not that they don't want love. It's just, they have some things that, you know, they are not telling you or they're trying to keep it like out of the picture of the two of you i have sagittarius and gemini energy that comes out here but you know definitely deciding like i really want to make things very balanced with aries and i i do care about them i really want to be with them but then that page of wands comes out of like i just want to have fun you know so they can slip back into um you know, those things that are not so great for them being addictions of some sort here and uh, drinking too much or using too much or wanting to even like an addiction of like uh, sex can be an addiction, you know, so maybe this person associates that with love and they want it all the time and they think that that's their way of showing love, but it's not a way to show love. So it's just, it's something to do that feels good in the moment, right? It's instant gratification. I'm not saying it can't be amazing. I'm just saying, you know, there's some issues there. Okay, so, you know, wanting to be in things for the moment, but then the page of pentacles comes out in reverse along with that three of swords here. So, you know, they want to have fun. They're, they're just here for the time being. This is their intentions towards you. But then they get confused about where things are really going or what they really want long term. And it can be due to them going through some kind of, of like pain and suffering um with maybe partying too much or having to change their agenda where they hang out with friends and they you know they're constantly spending time with friends or just partying or whatever and maybe that's not what you're looking for and so that can present the problem you know they will get to where they get blocked in talking to you which causes this heartbreak and suffering as well on your end because if you're really into this person and they're choosing to be with friends or whatever or they're choosing like i want to just party i want to hang out and have fun then that's not going to work for you if you're looking for something long term and you can't say i love this person i'm ready for this i want this and then pull back and be like oh well i don't know if i want to change that you know um oh my gosh what was it that uh Oh, it was the greatest thing ever yesterday. My mom said she's an empath. And so when she says things, I'm like, I'm going to use that. She said something along the lines of, uh, don't ap apology or like a true apology comes with, um, actual change or something of those, you know, of that. And I was like, that is the best thing ever because people apologize so much, you know, that whenever they apologize and they keep doing the same thing, um, um, true apology and true, true being sorry comes with actual change. And if you're not seeing that within this person or somebody you're dealing with, well, then, you know, they're not changing. So it was, I forgot how she worded it, but it was beautiful and I loved it. And I was like, mom, I'm using that. I love that. So she's just a brilliant minded person. I love her so much. Um, so she's also so supportive of things that I do. And sometimes she's not supportive of things I do, but she's always honest and she's honest in a loving and gentle way so she's like my greatest you know she's my rock you know my dad too but uh, my dad is in a different way I know I'm going on about my family but I just love them so much um so she just uh she always is so insightful when she says things I never know how that's going to play out and her being empathic and her feeling the energies of other people and what's going on around her she she's not one of those people that's like Oh, I feel this and blah, blah, blah. It just, it comes naturally. It just flows naturally, right? So when she says these things, it, for me, it's, it's crazy how it like coincides with what I'm doing for other people in readings or whatever. So that I take as a sign. So, you know, maybe that was meant 
poor you, Aries, whenever she said it yesterday, like, you know, if somebody wants to prove that they're going to change, you know, they're appalled, like uh, an apology comes with actual change. And if they're not doing that, you know, like really changing, then they don't deserve to be in your life. Or you got to start to think, what do I want that's going to be better than this? So let's go ahead and clarify that King of Cups. Yeah, see, that's this is the thing. This person doesn't want to give up drinking and things like that. But there's also the fact that where they want love, um, they use love as like a tool and then they end up walking away, you know, and it's they get either bored or feel like this just isn't what I was looking for. And the chariot at the bottom of the deck, it happens so fast. Like they don't even think about it. This person just like runs away from things. <laughs> Excuse me. So no matter how the, how they feel, if they're not going to show the actual change and they cause, end up causing you heartbreak from walking away and like really like putting things on hold with you whenever they were love bombing you in the beginning, that's not good, you know? And it's because they don't want to walk away from the things that they have going on in their life, like friends or partying or just, you know, that part of, of where they're trying to grow. They're still trying to figure things out, but they do have addiction tendencies that really overtake situations. So, um, you know, that signs and synchronicities, just pay attention to the signs that are being presented to you through the universe, you know, through your spirit guides. Um, your spirit team is always there for you. If you believe in God, God is there for you. You know, he wants you to, um, I mean, even if you don't believe, you know, that's up to you, but I'm just saying, you know, they, everybody on the other side, that's not here, and the energy around you that is watching over you or like trying to get into your life is really wanting the best outcome for you. So sometimes we block that to be open to seeing everything. Let's go ahead and get a couple of messages. Was this person holding back from telling Aries? Yeah. Something tells me like they're kind of flip floppy before um like they go back and forth with what they want but first thing that comes out is we need to let each other go okay so you know they want to stay but then they're like no i can't stay because we don't want the same thing which doesn't make sense to what they're you know what they want with you but that just means that they're still trying to figure things out and they're not ready to give up these addictions that they have um whatever they are so i'm becoming a better person so they're trying to work on themselves but at the same time just to let you know they're still doing those things that are causing them to stay stuck so i left before you could leave me and you know energetically if they haven't left yet they've already energetically let go like they're just waiting to physically walk away from the situation because they feel like if you leave them then it's going to make them go and spiral and they're going to end up doing but it's not your fault that's the thing it's not your fault if somebody goes and uses if somebody continues to party and is like i drink so much because i was so heartbroken over you that's not on you nor is it on anybody else you know those are the choices that we all make so i want to tell you how i feel See, this person does go back and forth with, you know, I want, I need to leave. We need to let each other go. I'm leaving you, but I'm becoming a better person. And I do want to tell you how I feel. The timing just wasn't right. And that's because they're not ready to let go of these things. So their intentions for you are just to stay for a little while and then eventually move on because they're not ready to make this big change for themselves to do better. Or, you know, I'm not going to say do better, but it's, it's hard when you suffer with addiction. It is hard to let those things go. And we all have our own addictive qualities or addictive tendencies, whether it's shopping, drugs, alcohol, you know spending too much money um eating too much food worrying too much like these are just like very we all have our own like me um for the longest time oh my gosh i couldn't stop drinking soda and now i'm like water 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 i love water but i think it's because i also don't have my voice <laughs> as much as i had it before but anyways so yeah you know this is um how they, you know, their, their true intentions for you. So this is what I have for you. If it resonates with your situation, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you everyone.